The purpose of this video lesson is to show you some of the basic techniques that you'll use after you've established your Quick Shopping Cart account to load products, to select your template, to set up your payment system and shipping system uh, as you work with a site and develop it into a full-blown e-commerce site. So after having uh, purchased the Quick Shopping Cart system, I log back into my account. Uh, here's the account I want to use it with, RamyHanna.com. That's one we're using as an example this time out. And I simply click on Quick Shopping Cart. Now I'm presented with a menu that gives me two different ways of trying to interact with this site. Uh, in the first of them, I can use these icons across the top to go through the process one step at a time until I complete the store and publish it. I can also use the menu here to set up the site, to manage some of its characteristics, to promote it and get some reports on how things have gone uh, relative to the, the sales that are developing on the site. Uh, at the bottom of this page, I have a variety of different ways that I can get some help and, and, and consult the help system uh, as I try and put the site together. These are a variety of help topics that take me into the help system uh, and the, once there uh, I can do searches on other types of things that I might want to do. I can also use these learning tutorials, these videos, uh, to, to show me how to move products in and out, what sort of characteristics I need to, to work with on the site, and some of the basic tasks that are associated with that. So if you get stuck, here are the place to turn, the help system and the video tutorials, in addition to the, the resources that I showed you in the original video that you can connect to from the project page uh, that will help you uh, work through the site and get it set up. Okay, now as you can see, as you move from left to right, you are in fact uh, creating different aspects of the site and moving from the more general setup uh, to this more specific uh, installation or of, of, of products, their categories, pictures, and that sort of thing. Uh, the ones that are green here, you can see that this one is still white in the background. That means that it has not yet been performed. The others have, but let me show you real quickly what each of those entails and the type of information uh, that you can provide at each. In the store information, this is where you provide the name of the site, the, the, you insert the logo, so when you develop your logo, here's where you do it. Had copyright information, email, phone address, that sort of thing. The slogan for the site and the address of the business. This is information that will be displayed on the site uh, and it will help with communication as you go along. You can also select a template for your site. Uh, I've chosen uh, this one as a, as a possibility, but there are also a variety of others that you can use under Change My Template to see a number of different possibilities. And when you select a different one, you can assign it to your social space site, to your store site, which we're working with now, uh, or even to your blog. Uh, I'm not going to. So I click back to go to the main menu once I've done my template. Uh, in terms of taxes, the only thing you have to set up is make sure that Kentucky sales tax gets paid. Uh, there are a variety of options here. What we want is state-based sales tax. Notice you can set that up uh, by country or down here and lower by uh, state. I've already done that and set the United States, selected Kentucky, and set that as 6%. So I'm going to, but, and you do not tax the shipping rate, only the, the, the sales price of the, of the object. In terms of shipping, there are a number of other uh, options that are available to you. Uh, the one that you should work with is the United States Postal Service. Some of the others uh, require uh, that you establish an account with FedEx or UPS. Let me just show you what I've done here uh, with the United States Postal Service. Uh, I've added a $5 handling fee. I've shown where the originating zip code is. Uh, I'm going to ship each one in a separate package and I'm enabling only parcel post. Uh, these are some very basic settings, but they do give you an idea uh, of, of, of how you can get started. Uh, the payment one, uh, if you had, a, a, for example, a UPS account, your own My UPS account, you could use it here uh, to set up automated uh, shipping quotes and that sort of thing on the site. Uh, these are the payment options available to you. There are a couple through Blackboard. You can, if you have a merchant account already established, you can access that here and use that for payment processing, or you can do COD and print and call. Uh, we're going to be using PayPal for this one. Uh, you can do your own PayPal account or uh, if, you, uh, if, you, if you don't want to do that, you can use the eBusiness Club's PayPal account and you'll find the numbers for uh, entering the settings in the, in the PayPal 
uh, API system, you'll find those in the announcement page. Uh, if I click the edit tab here, you would see that that's where you would enter those. You can do that from enable when you come to that site for the first time. Then uh, products is a, the last section that allows you to enter products uh, one at a time. Uh, as you can see, this allows you to enter uh, each product with a variety of information about it. The description, the type, the number, the cost, the price, that sort of thing. Uh, and so you can enter products one at a time in this way. Uh, there are a couple of other ways of doing that, and so let me use the alternative system to show you that. Uh, and that would be uh, under the Manage key. And I'm going to start with Manage Categories. Because it's a good idea to set up categories, you're required to have three of these, and it's a good idea to set these up prior to uh, adding products to the site. Uh, here's what they look like. Here's what a, a, a category record uh, looks like. This shows you the, the products that are listed under there, and here's the description. You can edit the category here with a name. You can put images associated with it, uh, and then you have the, the category taken care of. Uh, I'm going to say OK to this because we're in good shape there. Uh, and then once you have the categories established, now you're ready to enter products. And you can do that from the Manage Products page. We saw how you could do that one at a time. Here's an example of the products that have already been added to this particular site. Uh, and I wanted to show you one, uh, for example, uh, how we can edit that after it's already entered. And then I will go in another way to show you how to, to, to get a, a product into this uh, into the site through this mechanism that we're doing now. So uh, we have part number six. Uh, there is a charge for shipping, so we need to change that. Uh, put estimates of the weight, the length in inches, the width also in inches, and the height. This will help the system uh, specify it would have its own package, so that helps the system specify the proper charge for shipping. Uh, notice as well that this is taxable. It is not featured. If you want to feature a product on the site, you just list it here. Uh, we already have a price of $95. This one costs about $35 to make. Uh, the categories are already set. I'll show you how that was done in just a second. Uh, but we don't have any images yet for this one. So here's the way we do that. We've already uploaded uh, a media gallery for this page. And so now we're going to go to that gallery. Uh, and this is the Bird's Eye Maple and Padat Vase. And that's here. So we're going to put that in the thumbnail, standard, and zoom, and then save it. That's all we need to do. And so now that product is ready to go. Uh, under Manage, we look at Import, Export, and we see that we can upload products uh, from a uh, Excel spreadsheet. They have to have these records in them to be able to, to upload them. Uh, so if we download that template and load it into Excel, this is what we get. And this is what it looks like. So we have several products that we want to add to the system. We put them in the right category. Uh, notice that we have part number, title, short description, long description, category, and over here price. These are the fields that are necessary to do that. Once we have those, we're ready to go. And uh, we simply browse to that file, put it in here, uh, and upload those products. And then they now are part of our system. So, and we are ready to publish or preview the site. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and publish now, so you'll see what, what finally it ends up looking like.